Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So I'm setting up an experiment to compare uh, different methods of bullet lubrication. And of course, one of the methods that I want to include in this comparison is the traditional wax-based lube uh, that is extruded into the lube groove or grooves of a cast lead bullet. Uh, now, normally this is done using something called a lubricizer, uh, which consists of a press to force the bullet into a sizing die, and then there's a hole in the sizing die through which uh, lube is extruded into the grooves in the bullet by means of a piston type or plunger apparatus. Uh, now, I didn't have a lubricizer uh, already, and they're kind of expensive, so I didn't really want to buy one just for this experiment, and so I made my own. Now, this is not a complete lubricizer in and of itself. Instead, it's an adapter that allows me to use a regular reloading press uh, as a lubricizer. Uh, so I've got a little piece of uh, 7 8 14 all thread uh, that'll fit the die holder on the press. And then inside of that, I've got my sizing die. Uh, which is held in place by a set screw. And then this uh, is machined to hold a tube of bullet lube. So I just put the, the tube in there and then there's a bolt that runs the length of this cylinder. And this is basically just a really long nut with a plunger or you know, piston type head machined on one end. Uh, so by threading this in and then torquing it down, I can apply pressure to the lubrication in the cylinder and cause it to be extruded through a hole in the base of the cylinder uh, into the sizing die and into the grooves in the bullet. So in use, I would simply thread that into the press like so. And then I've got this little ram that I machined uh, that takes the place of a shell holder in the press. So I'll just place a bullet in the ram, run it up into my improvised lubricizer, then torque down the piston a little bit, and then to eject the bullet, I'll just put the next one in. There you can see we've got lube in our grooves. However, after I went to the trouble of building this thing, I realized there's a much simpler way to lube this type of bullet or to apply this type of bullet lube uh, if you're only doing a few of them. Namely, I just take a cast lead bullet and I take a little bit of the uh, bullet lube compound, the wax compound. And all I have to do is knead this into the lube grooves by hand. So it kind of forms a band all the way around the base of the bullet. And then, if I simply run this through a sizing die, now I have a nicely lubed bullet and I didn't need all of this extrusion apparatus. All I really needed was the sizing die, uh, which if I recognized that sooner could, could have saved me a whole lot of work because a sizing die is very simple to machine. Uh, it's just a piece of 7 8 14 all thread with a hole bored through the center of the size that you want to size something to. Um, so that's a much simpler machining project than making this, even though this wasn't overly complicated to uh, machine either. Um, but anyway, uh, that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, so until next time, thank you for watching The Idaho Show.